Pastor Liz of the Abiding Word Ministries teaches the Word of God in a refreshing way that will surely bless you. This is the Word for the Now. Take a listen. Death to lost. Hallelujah. Let's look at 1 John chapter 2, verse 14. Death to lost. Actually, go to verse 15. Praise God. 1 John chapter 2. Hallelujah. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So now he's going to tell us in the next verse what it is. Let's look at verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These three things are markers. Satan uses this all the time. And this was exactly how he tempted Jesus. He tempted him with the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Let's go to Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Next verse. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. And, and when they were ended, he was afterwards hungered. Next verse. And the devil said unto him, If thou art the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. Next verse. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So when he said, Turn this stone into bread, what was the temptation? The lust, the desire. He was hungry. What was the temptation? Was it lust of the eyes? Lust of the flesh? Can anyone answer? What was this temptation? There was lust of the eyes because you want to eat bread, right? You're hungry. And also it was the flesh. He was hungry, right? Amen? I'm not trying to be perfect here and I'm not trying to find out who's right or wrong. Amen? I'm trying to teach you something about lost. Amen? Praise God. And why lost? I shared in the morning that the, the mankind, when he, man sinned, the sin committed was lost and not disobedience. The act is disobedience, but the, the sin is lost. So mankind was condemned to lost. What was the lost? Like I told you, man was created in the image and likeness of God. I was given dominion. Dominion means rulership, authority, power over the realm of the earth. And he was the God that was on earth. He represented the kingdom of heaven upon the earth. And Satan came and said to him and Eve, if you eat of this tree, you will be like God. So Satan's fall was because he lost it. He wanted to be like God. He said, I want to take my throne and be above the throne of the most high and I'll make myself like God and that's how he fell. God judged him and he was removed from the presence of God. He and other angels that followed him. So there are fallen angels with him. Amen. So he came with the same thing because he knew there was nothing, absolutely nothing he could do to destroy the man that God has created because this man was God. He was God in a dirt suit. There was nothing he could do. But he knew that if he could get man to self-destruct, that would happen. He would take over. And that's exactly what he did. He came with the idea. Do you know that if you eat of this, you'll be like God? And you will know the difference between good and evil. You will be like God. You will not die. And it was that lust that he threw at them. And they ate of that seed of lust. And mankind, you know, God judges you with what you come with. Just like uh, Satan was judged with fire. That's why we have hellfire. He was the angel of fire. 
So the fire that he was is what is burning him. God judged him with darkness, judged him with fire that he was. Amen? So mankind was judged with lust. Amen? And this lust is a desire that is not of God. It does not follow the will of God. It wants to do its own thing. So lust is in so many ways. It comes by rebellion. It comes by, that's the sin also is called rebellion. So it comes by rebellion. It comes with pride because he, he wanted to exalt himself. Satan wanted to exalt himself. So there was pride found in him. That's why the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that pride was found in him. And he was an angel of beauty. An angel that was both a seraphim and, a, and a, a cherubim and a seraphim. He was an angel of fire. He was an angel of light. And the Bible says that he was the most beautiful angel. And apart from that, he was the anointed one. He was the only angel that the Bible describes as anointed. So he figured with all that he had, he was beautiful. The Bible talks about him being a, an instrument. And all the musical instruments were piped up in him. He brought glory to God. He was the angel of music that brought worship, that started worshiping heaven. And yet, he thought he could be like God. Those angels were not from God. They were not made of God. They were creatures that God made, but they didn't come from his substance. And that's what he wanted. He wanted to be like God. He wanted the substance of God. So when God made man and God put his own sperm inside of man, when God said, I will make man, he spoke those words, the sperm of God, the word of God, and that man became a living soul. Satan was mad. Finally, a creature that had the substance of God. And he wanted to destroy it. He wanted to destroy it. This was what he wanted. He wanted to be like God and take charge of the earth. You see, the earth was not new. Satan, uh, Lucifer, and all the other spirits, angels of God, were on the earth before man. So it wasn't new to him. It wasn't new. That's why he came to destroy mankind. Because of the hatred. Because he saw what he desired he couldn't have. But man could not be destroyed unless he broke the law. Unless he rebelled against God. Unless he rejected the government of God. And that's exactly what happened in the Garden of Eden. When he went for that fruit and ate it, that was rebellion. And that was rejection. And that was saying to God, I will take care of myself. I will do my own thing. I am an independent woman. I can take care of myself. God doesn't like independent because we are not built to be independent. We are built to depend on God. We are built because your very breath is from him. You, you have no life without God. You have no life without him. Hallelujah. So we are talking about death to lost. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Satan said to him, if you bow down, I'll give you back the kingdom. I'll give you back the world. I'll give you back the authority. I'll give you back the dominion. Someone said it was not a temptation. How can you say that? If it wasn't a temptation, Jesus wouldn't answer. Because you know he kept quiet in front of the Sanhedrin. Because kings are not judged by the religious leaders. Kings are judged in the courts of kings. The Lord never responded to the Sanhedrin because there was nothing to say. It was the wrong court, the wrong place of judgment. But when he got to the place where Pilate was asking him, are you a king? He said, of course I am. He said, don't you know I can destroy you? I can kill you? He said, you talk because the power you have is given to you by my father. If I want, I'll ask my father to send legions of angels and they'll deliver me from your hands. He talked like a king in the right place. So if it wasn't a temptation, Jesus wouldn't answer him. It was a temptation. And indeed, Adam gave up the dominion and authority, the rulership that God gave him over the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. We trust you've been impacted 
by this message. Please share your experience with Pastor Liz. The ministry's email address is tawm at abidingwordministries.net or call 718-323-2918 718-529-0005 You can also log on to our website www.abidingwordministries.net God bless you.